Hi guys, so I'm going to apologize in advance for my video. What happened was I cannot get my video uploaded at all to YouTube. I keep on getting an error from iTunes, and not iTunes, iMovie, so it's a video rendering 50 error. I googled it, I've done everything that they've told me to do on Google and I still can't get it to upload. So I'm going to record with my phone my actual video. So it's not going to be the best quality, but should be okay. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new, thank you for stopping by. Uh, my channel, I do a lot of DIYs, home decor, some cooking, trash to treasure, um, gardening, basically kind of anything that has to do with the home. Um, I love DIY and farmhouse stuff, refinishing furniture um chalk painting like all that stuff i love the farmhouse shabby chic look um rustic and those kinds of things so if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff you're at the right channel so again thank you for stopping by if you're returning welcome back um i hope you enjoy today's video so for today's video i am participating in a challenge hosted by sonia domestic diva 76 Sonia is fantastic. She's super talented. She too has a channel on cleaning, organizing, DIY, and cooking. Um, basically, she's, she does um, all sorts of DIY, some furniture painting, some lots of cleaning videos, lots of cooking videos. She does super delicious recipes, so please be sure to check out her challenge. I mean, her challenge, her channel. Um, and she does do this challenge monthly. So for the challenge, it is a DIY challenge. There were no rules. You just had to create a DIY. Um, so for me, I did um, some farmhouse hooks and like a coat rack slash towel rack. This rack I'm going to be putting in my basement. Um, we have a swimming pool. So for the summer, I hope to use this as a towel rack so we could just hang up towels that are not quite dry or maybe they are dry, but we just don't want to leave them outside. Um, as well as maybe some wet bathing suits, not like too soaking wet, but you know, just bathing suits for the next day. As well um, for the winter when we go outside there, just so we can hang up our coats and stuff there so it's not a mess because it's all just thrown all over the floor. So that's my idea, is just to have these hooks in that little part of my basement. So I found this scrap piece of plywood in my garage. It was actually one long piece, and my lovely husband cut it in half for me so that I could stain it. I will be staining both pieces because I want to use them. I wasn't sure if it would be okay because it's so thin, but I suppose it doesn't have to be... Um, so thick for the hooks but we'll see if I don't like it then I can always switch it up um, but I think it'll do it I'm not sure where the wood came from from one of the projects we were doing I'm assuming um, but it's just the perfect it was the perfect length to make two coat racks that I wanted to make like the wall hung coat racks so I'll show you what I did first so I did the sides of both boards and I did this outside because the stain is pretty stinky um, and I let it dry. I did not do the other side of the board because it's going on the wall so there, it would be just a waste of wax. Um, now I think I'll see how it holds up but if I see the stain kind of coming off because we will, we might have some damp stuff hanging off on there. Um, I may go back and put varnish over top just to protect it a little bit more. But I think it'll be fine because I'm not going to have soaking wet stuff on it. So I bought a pack of these hooks on Amazon a little while ago. Um, they were actually called farmhouse hooks. Um, and I really like the way they look. I think they want to be maybe... a dollar fifty per hook they weren't very expensive and they were exactly kind of what I was looking for because um, I wanted the double hooks one at the, at the top and one at the bottom it just gives you extra hooks 
um, and they weren't too bulky or anything like that. And to me, they had that farm. Well, they were even called farmhouse looks, but to me, they had that farmhouse look. Um, so when I went to stick these on, I probably, there's probably much easier ways to do this than the way I did them. I was going to measure, um, you'll see on the second one I'm trying to measure, but then I wind up just eyeballing it. Um, the only thing that I do wind up measuring is how far apart from the ends the hooks are, and then I try to make them as close as possible. I don't know why I do this. I always try to use anything and everything other than what I'm supposed to, to, you know, like instead of using a ruler to measure, I'm taking a box, like here, why didn't I just draw a straight line? I wound up doing that with the other one, but I always try to kind of make things easier, but I just wind up making them worse for myself. Um, so I see here, I'm eyeballing it here, kind of just to see what it, to see what it would be. Um, and then once I kind of got them attached, I measured a little bit to see um, how close they were, and they were pretty close. So I apologize you can't see this better. I thought that you would be able to and then I went to adjust the camera and I made it worse. But I, you can see I used some chalk to um, draw out a line and then I measured from the bottom to make sure that they were just at the same height. Um, and then what I did was I actually pre-drilled the holes into these and then I drilled one by one and then I did the opposite sides because there was four holes, I did the opposite sides so that when I'm trying to drill, it's not actually moving around and I don't drill it crooked, if that makes sense. So once I finished all of those, um, you can see what that looks like. Um, I wiped off the chalk with just a wet rag. And then I went and looked at the first one and I noticed that the last one was too far away from the end more than the first one so I just changed that. So here are the finished pieces. I just have them laid out on a rug and I love the way it turned out. I love that some of the lighter wood is kind of coming through, that the dings are showing, that it's not perfect. That was the look that I was going for so I really like the way they look. Um, now I didn't hang them up to show you guys because as I said at the beginning of the video I am going to be painting the wall um, so I don't want to make too many holes for no reason so this is kind of where I'm going to be hanging it. I'm not keeping it that ugly beigey yellowy color whatever it is. I'm going for a really light white grayish color and I'm going to make one higher and one lower so that the kiddos can reach it. Um, I will post that video once I make it, when I finish um, redoing everything I'm planning on redoing in the basement. Um, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff, but everything is just kind of like makeup because we don't really have the money to do a full renovation. So if you liked what you saw today, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That really helps my channel and it encourages me to do more videos if I know that you guys like them. Uh, make sure you check out Sonia's channel. Um, it, it is linked in the description and make out make sure you check out the playlist Which is also going to be linked in the description. I'm sure there's going to be some Amazing DIYs. I can't wait to watch the videos and get some inspirations. Thank you so much And thanks for stopping by and have an excellent day and stay safe